Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to convert your embroidery designs that can be used by the Everstone Hero sewing and embroidery machine. Here are a list of things that you need to get started. A Mac OS powered computer, an iOS powered device, a dongle that can be used to connect a USB powered device to your computer, and a thumb drive. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is download an application from the App Store on our iOS device. So type on App Store, go to the search bar, and type in Eversone. When you type in Eversone, you should see search result that comes up that says Eversone Pro. Just tap on that. And the Eversone Pro app should come up. And what you want to do is install it. I've already installed it. So the next step is we need to pull up our computer. Here's a website that I found that offers free embroidery designs. It tells you the size, it tells you the colors and how many stitches, and it tells you which file formats you can download in. So I'm going to download this design in a brother.pes file format and save it to my desktop. Now that the file is saved to my desktop, the next step is to connect my iOS device to my computer. Once your iOS device is connected to your computer, iTunes should immediately open. In the top left hand corner of the iTunes screen, you should see a iPhone icon or an iPad icon if you're using your iPad. So click on that. And then here to the left is uh, some icons you'll see. And right here you should see an, I um, an icon and next to it it should say file sharing. So you want to click on that. And then to the right of that is a list of apps that allow file sharing. And one of those apps is the Eversone Pro app. So I'll click on that. Then I will go to my desktop and drag the brother.pes file that I downloaded. And then drag that into my Eversone Pro documents. Once that is in my documents folder, then I can go back to my phone and pull up the Eversone app. So now that the app is open, you want to click on patterns and then my design and you should see the new embroidery design that you put on that you put into the documents folder on your iPhone. So tap that And here it shows you the colors and the size, how many stitches. And here in the right is a edit icon, so click on that. And you might see this error message that says it it's exceeds embroidery area. So just tap OK and just center it as best as you can. What I'm going to do is actually resize this, make it a little smaller. So I'll tap on this icon here in the upper right hand corner and then drag down. And once I do that, here at the top is a save button. So tap that. And here it's going to ask you to save the file. And you tap the check mark. Now, once that file is saved, you will see new files that will show up in the iTunes app. So once that file was saved, you see that the app created three new files. And one of those files is a .zhs file, which is the format that the Eversone Hero reads and needs in order to sew out the embroidery design. So what I'm going to do is click on that and then drag it to my desktop. And now we're done with the iTunes app so we can go ahead and eject our phone and then close out the iTunes app. Now what you want to do is connect your thumb drive to your computer. Once your thumb drive is connected, 
double click on it to open it. Next thing you want to do is take the file that you've saved to your desktop, click on it, and drag it to your thumb drive. Highlight the file, right click, and rename. You don't want to rename the .zhs part. You only want to rename the numbers that are in front of the .zhs. So I'm going to rename this the cause, and I'm going to put dashes between the title, the king. Right? Now, once the file is renamed, you can eject the thumb drive from your computer. Once the thumb drive is ejected from your computer, you are now ready to take that thumb drive and put it into the Everson Hero sewing machine to start stitching out the embroidery design. So let's go ahead to the sewing machine and see if it works. Once you're at your sewing machine, turn it on and then place in the thumb drive. Once the thumb drive is in the sewing machine, follow the on-screen instructions on the sewing machine. So you want to click OK, then move over to the right to USB, and then press OK. And then you can see our new embroidery design that we saved to our thumb drive. So touch the, press the down arrow to select it, and then press OK. My embroidery hoop is already on the machine, so I'm going to adjust where I want the machine to start sewing. Let's bring it down some, and then press OK. My embroidery hoop is already on, so press OK. Now it's telling me that I need to put in the yellow thread for the top thread. The yellow thread, the top thread is already there. So now I just need to press the start stop, the start stop button to begin sewing. First I need to lower the presser foot, then press the start stop button. And stop it so that I can cut that top thread. Or the press the foot, then press start. So here is our finished embroidery design. Is there an alternative to the Windows only conversion software? I think so. With the combination of iOS, macOS, and iTunes, you can convert your you can convert any embroidery design to the .zhs format that can be used with the Everson Hero sewing and embroidery machine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share it via social media. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below. And until next time, happy sewing.